What up guys, it's K13 and welcome back to my channel. I'm in a fun get up today because I, you know, you all know me, I like being in my fun get ups, but also just because I was making some TikToks. <laughs> kind of ironic that I'm looking devilish in this video because today we are going to do a reaction video, which we haven't done any of those in a while, so this will be fun. Going to react to a video by the YouTube channel Jubilee um called do all christians think the same it's one of those videos where they have multiple people that are in one specific group or category of people like a subgroup of people and then they you know ask some questions and everybody lines up as if they agree or disagree and like in between they have discussions and so i have been having this kind of in my saved playlist for a while because i've been wanting to do a reaction to it for a while um, and just to watch it and see what uh, I agree and disagree with, um, what my answers will be because I'm a Christian. Without further ado, let's get into it. I know you don't agree with that, and I know that it is. Okay, so I would probably go on the, uh, probably either on the somewhat agree or agree list. It depends on the Christian music. I am very, very picky about contemporary Christian music. Most of it I do not like. I have a, like a short list of contemporary Christian songs that I do like. Um, some I do listen to when I am having a lot of stress and anxiety and I need something to calm me down or when I do want to like have my own personal worship time with God, I will sing a certain few songs. And I grew up going to church at an acapella church of Christ, so I actually really, really enjoy certain acapella songs. And then of course I am a huge metal and rock fan, so I listen to a lot of Christian rock and Christian heavy metal bands. I also listen to like some Christian rap. So I would probably say agree because I do like Christian music, but I don't only exclusively listen to Christian music because like some Christians will do that. <laughs> it's kind of weird, I think. Some Christian music is good and some of it is lame, but that's the same with like any kind yeah, of music. Pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. I have to be like in a certain setting or a certain mind state to listen to it. I kind of agree that some is good and some is bad, but I kind of feel like 60 to 70 percent of it is not good <laughs> or like exciting. But maybe I'm kind of traumatized because I could only listen to Christian music when I was a kid. When I came into the church a little bit later, there were some beliefs because um, I'm queer, so that people were just like, "This is what it is, and you can't be this, and like this is not da 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 da." -da. But the reason I'm in this line is because I never felt that from God. I still felt like he loved me. Yeah, so I am also part of the LGBT community, but my faith and uh, the way people treated me, that's never been affected. Um, I think just because of what it is I identify as. If I ever doubted my beliefs, I'm sure I have. I'd say yes. For the most part, no. I've always had the strongest faith and God, I always do my best to, because I do my best to keep my relationship with God. So whenever I do have doubts and questions, I am open to God about him. I'm praying, I'm just like, dude, sorry, I don't agree with you about this. I'm sure you have, you're omnipotent, <laughs> if that's the right uh, term, um, or omniscient, one of those uh, reasons, I'm sure like, human I cannot understand but certain things I'm just like I don't know I don't agree I don't I don't see how this was okay in the bible yeah I think the biggest my like ever doubted my beliefs was when I was like late elementary early middle school 
kind of just in that questioning, you kind of get into that like, mm, I kind of avoid, like I always envisioned myself growing up and turning into like this punk styled person that was like an atheist and kind of just living my life. I think I just, cause like I was tired of going to church and doing all the stuff that you have to do as a Christian. And, um, but when God revealed himself to me and talked to me in middle school, my, like every doubt, every like lighthearted thought about not following him, like washed away. And like, just, I was overwhelmed with emotion and overwhelmed with surprise. So like, oh, you are definitely real. No doubt about that. That, so I, I even though I have a huge and strong faith in him, but I don't think it's necessarily bad that I like have questions or I'm like, God, I'm confused about this. Like many Christians say this is wrong, that you're against it, but like, I can't, see how you would be against it. Stuff like that. Mm, she strongly disagrees. <laughs> Cringe. Okay, what's she gonna say? Open mind. Support, it means to accept. And I don't accept the community, but do I love them? Do I want the best for them? I have <laughs> The two people in the back of the gay and the queer girl are just like cringing. Yeah, you can love people as like we're all as we're all children of God. You can love everyone despite the fact that you don't agree with them, despite the fact that you don't support them. I think people that people will think you can't love them if you don't support or agree with them. And that's not true because love is very powerful love is very can be broad too it's not the same thing as liking like i might not like you for your beliefs but i love you because you're my brother and sister in christ or we're all god's child your children do i think that we should be mean to them in church do i think that we should shun them from church no and i'm sorry that you guys had that experience because that is awful that is horrible no one should go to a church and feel like you need to run away from it it's it, yeah, it is. It sucks. Um, it The thing is, though, you don't have to agree with a person that identifies as gay. You don't have to agree with them being married, like gay people getting married. But, like, you should still support because it's not hurting you. It's not... Like, they're not freaking Nazis that are trying to actually be racist and actually hateful and want certain groups of people to die. Like, they're just people that happen to fall in love with the same sex or gender or whatever as they are. Trans people, I know it's a little more complicated than, like, gay people and stuff, but trans people are just people that have issues with their body that they are physically in in their identity sometimes yes stuff changes like i believe that sexuality can be fluid that doesn't mean it is for everybody every individual is different and so it's just too hard to believe that it's all wrong and all sinful it's interesting though because the thing that has hurt me the most is actually the language with which you're speaking which is m more confusing i think no nope. i can agree with that because i i get that a lot of christians think that it's enough to say i don't support and agree with you but i do love you i'm not gonna hate you like i won't kick you out of the house i won't spit on you da, da, da. like they think that's enough they think that they're being loving by just doing the bare minimum and saying well i don't hate you i'm not gonna hurt you and, and i love you because god says i have to love you these are people that just happen to fall in love differently these these people feel different like fundamentally as a person that found out that they are not straight i always believe i was straight found out i'm not straight i found out that i can't feel sexual attraction to guys and i can't fall in love with guys it just doesn't happen. Fundamentally, I can't believe that me being ace and arrow, that it's not the same logic for gay people, bisexual, pansexual, whatever. If it's not a choice for me, 
that I don't fall in love with people, then it's not a choice for gay people. Same as it's not a choice for straight people. Straight people aren't born choosing to be straight. Straight Christians want to sexualize everybody. They want to sexualize gay people and make it act like gay people only want to have sex with everybody. And that's not true either. They just make it sound like gay people are like overly lustful or something. Lust is not okay. We shouldn't lust for people, but like that's the same issue straight people have. And gay people don't have that any more or worse than straight people. It was more like this, more like, I love you, but like God kind of wants to like send you to hell. How, how can we as Christians growing up in the Christian community or teaching kids in the Christian community, God loves you, God made you the way you are. How are you gonna say to a kid, God loves you just the way you are, you are perfect in God's eyes. Then find out that that kid, find out that your 15 year old identifies as gay. And then you're gonna be like, you're gonna tell them to go to, that they're going to hell, that they need to change when they've probably been struggling with this way longer than when they've told you the first time. It just doesn't make any sense. You don't think that I should, I should not marry a woman that I love? I'm not saying you should be alone. I'm saying at the basis of anything, I want you to be who God created you to be. And I know that for you, you're believing that I was created this way to love this way. But I would actually wonder because you're like, well, I want to love who I want to love. There's that attraction. But when I, it's like, where do you draw the line when there's, I'm attract, I'm a grown man. I like little boys. I am a person. <laughs> Are you serious? I have to do my best to give some grace because I also used to be, granted I was like a kid, like 17, 18, back when I actually had this belief. Like when the law was passed, like every state it became legal, like gay marriage became legal everywhere. When that happened, I used to be very against gay marriage and like I was kind of anti-LGBT slash didn't know anything about it other than that it was wrong. I also was one of those stupid, stupid, ignorant fools that went on about how if gay people can get married, what's gonna stop people from like marrying kids and, and what's gonna stop pedophilia. And I'm so ashamed about it. Like I give grace cause I didn't know anything back then. I was like 18, 17, whatever. The line is the consent, the consent. You cannot consent as a child. Like that's very clear. And I know that you don't agree with that, but there are lines because if we go by how we- You know that's not the same. I know you don't agree with that. And I know that it is the same. Like I drink and stuff. This guy disagrees. He doesn't disagree. <laughs> I'm sorry. He looks like he could be a little fruity. I'm just saying. Homosexual activity is sinful. Raping a child. So if you're gay, that's okay. If you identify this way, this is how you were born, that's okay. But you cannot have sex. You cannot kiss. You cannot get married. You're gonna have to be abstinent is sinful we can yes we all know raping a child is sinful we all know this none of those sins should be celebrated none of those sins should be condoned and all of us should be working not to change who we are but to become more like christ yes i agree obviously as christians we should all strive to be like christ there, there's nothing wrong with that that's that's the truth it's like they say these things and they try they want to themselves also be like Christ. They want to sound like they're being like Christ. So they want to sound loving, but at the same time, they can't get over the LGBT part. They just can't get it. Like I personally do not believe that it's sinful. I, and I might believe it wholeheartedly today, but then tomorrow I might question myself with this belief. Like this is something I am always researching and reading about. I'm always asking questions. I'm always trying to find answers or reasons why people would be end up being trans or gay or bi or pan or asexual like me. I I and I know asexual is completely different than like being pan and and gay and everything. If if God created man and woman only to be straight, if I'm an asexual person who's not straight, am I sinful for being asexual? I would, I would date 
somebody that's not a Christian. It's not preferable, but it's happened before. I dated, um, the last guy that I dated was agnostic. I totally agree that I could learn from non-Christians, even benefit from relationships with Muslims, Buddhists, or other non-Christians. But the Bible is specific about not being yoked in marriage to unbelievers. Whether you're a Muslim, Christian, or a Buddhist, and you find someone who doesn't share that, I think you're missing something core in that relationship, which won't work for any marriage. But the thing is, uh, when you break down so many of the major religions, a lot of the tenets are the same, and we kind of believe the same thing inherently. But that's where I disagree. I think we're very different. I am waiting to have sex until marriage. <laughs> His face. So I personally am actually not even kissing until I get engaged, which a lot of people don't believe me about. But <laughs> It's so funny to me because I also don't believe other people when they say that. We had a couple in my high school that started dating and they were very, like, it was known. They were very, very adamant and serious about never kissing. They were like, we're not going to kiss until we get married. That was their plan. And then they did not follow through. Like, they, after maybe a year or two of them dating, they, like, posted a picture on Instagram of them kissing and it was just like, oh, this happened, haha. And it's just like, that's kind of unrealistic. <laughs> I've never kissed, but I don't want to. I've never, I, that's disgusting to me, but knowing that I'm abnormal compared to most people and that most people strongly desire kissing, it's really funny to me. And yeah, somebody who thinks kissing in general is bleh, and, and, and if I was like, if you're gonna get married, wouldn't you want to know? I used to be one of those people that thought that the idea of never kissing until marriage was cute. I used to think that. <laughs> but now I'm just like, what if you're bad at it? What if he's bad at it? Like, if you do it at your wedding and you both, like, it's gonna be so awkward for everybody watching you. It's gonna be horrible. A two year relationship, and I promise it happened and it was it's hard. Two years. I didn't particularly like it, but I just find so much strength and closeness to God in reserving my physical expression of love for people. Even though it's very, very far from easy, it's something I'm so excited for. To be able to tell that person, I saved this, the most intimate part of myself for you. I hate this question because I think about it all the time. My answer is, I don't know, but I really, really hope so. I'm not saying that I'm a good person, but I'm saved by faith in Jesus Christ who forgives me of my sin. I know where I've placed my faith, and that's why I know where I'm gonna go. Christianity's not about just making sure you're checking off all the boxes to go to heaven. I feel like that robs us of exactly. the heaven that's present here on earth. All I'm responsible for is doing my best every day and I pray that I do that every day and I think that's true for everybody. The Everybody's point is, just responsible for their best. The point is to love God, have a relationship with him, like talk to him constantly. Yes, you should go to church and read your Bible and pray, especially prayer because that's how you maintain your personal relationship with God. Um, and so I do my best to do those um, as daily as possible, but I don't beat myself up over if I miss a Devo day or if I don't go to church every week. Like, I went years without going to church consistently. I don't think I'm going to go to hell for that. But I do my best to talk to God, to pray to Him, to pray for others, and to love people no matter what their beliefs are. And I want to treat everyone equally because I believe that even if they don't believe or appreciate that I believe that they're God's children and that they love them. But like, at the end of the day, I do believe that they're equal and that, to me, and that God loves them the same as I believe God loves me. Like we're supposed to be loving and inclusive like Jesus was. So, yeah. High five. <laughs> Christian high fives all around. This is the whitest thing I've ever done. Okay, everybody. Well, that was my reaction to watching the Jubilee video of Do All Christians Sing the Same. That video came out like four, year, four or five years ago, so it's kind of old. Um, and you guys got to learn a little bit more about me and my faith because I know I don't talk about it that much on this channel. Uh, 
but yeah that's me and my faith and then our reaction to this video all right guys so let me know in the comments what you thought about this video and give me a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed share this video with your friends and your family and maybe your enemies too i love you all and i hope you all have a good day and i'll see you in the next video bye Wah.